So I don't remember exactly the first time I met Grant Hill. We're both from the Washington, D.C. area, so it was somewhere around there. And I know it was about 20 years ago, but I can't recall the exact circumstances. What I do remember, though, is walking away thinking what everyone else does the first time they meet Grant. What a great guy. I mean, it's ridiculous for someone to be that fun and smart and gracious. And when he is inducted into the Hall of Fame tonight, I'm pretty confident what a great guy Grant is will be the first thing people talk about which is lovely, except Grant Hill happened to also have been a truly badass basketball player, like stupid good, and we should really be talking more about that too. Here are the numbers from Hill's six seasons in Detroit. Do you know the only other players to put up better numbers in their first six years in the league? Oscar Robertson, Larry Bird, and LeBron James. That is a list. Hill was a point forward before point forwards existed, a six foot eight. He could cross you up, even if you were Michael Jordan. And then he could dunk on you, even if you were Dikembe Mutombo. He was a walking explosion for the Pistons, which is why there was so much excitement when he got to Orlando to team up with Tracy McGrady. And of course, that is where the story diverts. Those of you who watch the jump regularly have heard T-Mac opine on what might have been if Hill hadn't had that devastating series of injuries. And when it comes to the what if of Grant's career, that's actually only the half of it. On our All-Star show last year, Grant came on to tell the story of, well, here. Have you heard Tim Duncan talk about the fact that he oh, was ready to join y'all in Orlando until Doc Rivers said, no, your family cannot come on the team plane, and that's what made him stay in San Antonio? Rachel, <laughs> Rachel, not, not only have I heard that, I was there. Oh. I was on the same, I made my visit with, T, uh, with uh, Tim Duncan. Okay. And I was at the dinner when so? uh, someone in Tim's entourage, I'll just yes. leave it that way, asked Doc, can significant others travel on the plane? And Doc said no. And wow. you could yeah. hold, like, it was just you know, like the energy at the table. I wish. And afterwards, my wife was like, we were dating, my wife, yeah, we were, we were married then. My wife said, he should have just lied. He should have said right. yes. Of course. First of all, he should have said yes and meant it. Look at T-Mac. Look at T-Mac. Oh, oh, man. You know what? When Doc got the Boston. went through in this league. Listen, man. when Doc got the Boston, he allowed family and family to get on the plane. Because he didn't want to make that Oh, don't say that, here. man. And I think that's the reason we got KG. Because he said his family could be on the plane. Well, at least he learned from his lesson. Yeah, you saw T make and Grant. My chest, my chest. That was painful. And over the years, I've heard Grant tell all sorts of stories of near misses like that and maybes. Coaches that didn't know quite how to use him once he got hurt, additional surgeries that didn't go as planned, a staph infection that nearly killed him. And as he's told these stories, it was frankly obvious that sometimes how good he was, well, it actually was getting lost even on him. As he said just this week, when he thinks about his career, quote, I've tended to focus on the struggles. Hill went on to say that's why this induction tonight to the hall is so validating because, quote, it confirmed I, I actually did some good things. My hope is that it confirms it for everyone else, too. Because, yeah, Grant is a really great guy. And now as a broadcaster, that is the side of him that people tend to see. And, yeah, because of his injuries, he is one of the most prominent what-if players in the history of the sport. But even with all of that, the man could hoop, and he doesn't need to be inducted tonight to prove it. Just in case, though, it's now going to be engraved up there, in writing, for good.